Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now at the time of this video, it's Ramadan, and this is when Muslims fast for an entire month from sunrise to sunset. Basically, it's intermittent fasting for 12 hours, which I just spoke about recently, and I'll give you a link to that video in a minute. And I've gotten a lot of questions about when is the best time and best way to work out and exercise during Ramadan, or basically when doing that 12-hour fast. And so, that's what I'll quickly discuss today. Which, by the way, again, this information is perfectly suited for anyone who is doing intermittent fasting, regardless of Ramadan or what time of the year it is, and also wants to know the best time and the best way to exercise during a 12-hour fast. So, let me make something quick, all right? First of all, if your goal is to gain muscle, you never want to lift weights on an empty stomach. Your muscles need glycogen and amino acids for a good workout. If you are in a fasted state, your glycogen stores will be low and maybe even empty because you basically burn through your carbs when fasting. And this means you won't be able to get as many repetitions, nor will you have as much stamina for your workout. So basically, your workout will suck or be half-assed. Listen, your body will also be depleted of amino acids since you've used up your protein during the fast. Protein needs to be constantly replenished. It's hard to store it, unlike carbs and fats. And if you lift weights without any amino acids inside of you, your body will break down muscle tissue for the protein and the amino acids to help repair your body. You, again, don't want this. Remember, your body's goal is to survive. The last thing it wants to do is build more muscle. So, you better make sure everything is set up correctly to build muscle or else your body will focus on general repair first before building new muscle. Always remember that survival comes first, then new growth, and then finally adaptation, and then you rinse and repeat this whole process. Yes, I've simplified this whole thing because all this really comes down to having optimal hormones. If your body is under stress from fasting and thus not eating and basically starving, then your stress and thus survival hormones are high. This is bad stuff, such as cortisol levels are high. Your repair and growth, your positive hormones, such as testosterone, growth hormones, and thyroid are now going to be low. This is all very bad for muscle growth. So, in an ideal world, you would eat at least one solid meal and preferably two, then go to the gym. After your workout, you want to, again, eat at least one solid meal and preferably two to fill up your body again. The two most important meals are your pre and post workout. So, whether you're observing Ramadan or you're doing intermittent fasting, make sure you follow this simple rule. Eat before and after your workout. The rest of the time is entirely up to you and not as important. So, I hope this makes sense. Remember, it's all about having optimal anabolic hormones while minimizing negative catabolic hormones. Now, below this video in the description area, I've got two important links for you. One talks about how you can optimize these hormones, all right, quickly and naturally. The second links to my other video about the best secret for building muscle while intermittent fasting. So, with that said, Happy Ramadan and wishing you a successful and healthy fast. And make sure you take a look at both those videos below in the description area. Do that right now.